let's implement push and pop operations let me start with push operation so here already we have stack right let's say its name is s somewhere i don't know where it is but let's say we can access it through passing the address of this okay so we have stack s and that we have an array and one top variable so currently let's say top is showing always the top index here what is that reset value it is at 3 right that's why i maintain top is 3 now what i want to say is whenever you want when when you do push what are you expecting pictorially you tell me so pictorially what you are expecting is somehow we should go to the next location after 3 that means we have to go to 4 4 means this 3 plus 1 that means so you want to increment top first correct so you want to increment top that is let's say plus plus top after that what you want to do then you will top will become 4 then you want to go to array data let's say the array name is data on that data where do you want to go this position this position is known for us that is nothing but now current top so data of top equal to value so you might have this question sir how can we access top without using the structure variable name no we can't access but just i you know it's an imagination so let's say just i'm understanding the core logic that's it okay after that i'll write complete code at this moment let's say if really if i can access top without structure variable name then it will be simply increment top followed by access that array data so data of top equal to dash value what is value here whenever we call push function that push function you know uh, gives us some value to be pushed correct or not so that is a value then we write it example that is e then e will be stored because of this line now in c programming these two things can be done at a time for that what we do is we write this line data of so directly we write plus plus top equal to value when you do that what happens is you know first of all this operation will be done top will be incremented after that assignment will take place because with respect to i mean precedences assignment has least precedence okay so i will be covering one uh, separate topic where i teach you you know priorities of the operators okay so here i am assuming that you already know the priorities of the operators okay so that's why because of this has highest precedence than this one then definitely top will be incremented first after that value will be stored understand then this top will become four first after that data of four equal to value done but i know that we can't directly access data we can't directly access top and one more thing being in push method we don't know how to access this stack correct that's why whoever call push method what they do is they pass us the address of this structure okay example the structure name is s then somehow in push call method i mean in call there should be address of s okay that is what my assumption okay such a way i design the code now so let me show the signature of push method then in push what are the things i require to access the structure someone should pass address of s comma value okay so this is the call now i have to design this code so that push will be done now can i push every time no when you reach maximum limit that means if there this array is full i should stop pushing correct i should not insert the values that's why you see the code now i'll explain this code so what is this star ps since you are passing the address of the structure then who is capable of holding that address of the structure pointed to the structure that's why it is pointed to that structure okay now one more thing before going to the code part i would like to tell you one thing really if you have address of the structure and who is taking that now ps really if ps takes it how to access this box i mean this array and this box first we will learn after that we'll go to the coding part okay now we'll see how to access this structure with respect to our pointer ps okay already so caller is going to call like this right push address of s comma value and that address of s we are going to take now ps will become pointed to this structure when you have a pointer to a structure to access data syntax is ps cap data from now onwards whenever you want to access data the only way is ps cap data second one to access top we can use ps cap top remember it that's it from now onwards data will be replaced with ps cap data second top will be replaced with ps cap top that's it okay blindly follow it right now 
start what was the logic part to push data so the logic part was like this data of plus plus top isn't it this one equal to value let me convert it to real code data is nothing but with respect to ps ps cap data okay now equal to uh, suffix plus plus top top can be replaced with you know ps cap top be careful with this parenthesis why we have to keep parenthesis is if you don't keep parenthesis here what happens is let's erase and see what is your intention of uh, this logic here you want to increment you know ps cap top correct now if you don't put parenthesis like this what happens priorities comes into the picture and now we have two operators for ps one is cap second one plus plus unfortunately plus plus and cap and dot and this function symbol and suffix all these things have same precedence and they are left to right associative that means the evaluation should be left to right and they are having the same priority now you see plus plus and cap has same priority then evaluation will be left to right if i do left to right so first left thing will be done what is that left thing plus plus will be applied to the operand what is that ps then ps will be incremented after that that incremented pointers cap top will be taken that is not our intention our intention was taking first taking ps cap top then after that we wanted to increment that third thing correct so for that definitely now we have to break the priority so priority should not be plus plus of ps this should not be the priority but actual priority sir see plus plus and cap same precedence and we have to go with left to right that means plus plus is first after that cap but i don't want that correct so i want to have cap first to have cap first then what to do is put the parenthesis and break the priority that's it now this is the right syntax from now onwards so to insert the data we can use this code right let's go to the code part now ready first so someone passed us address of the structure correct second one value i take it into value right now so i show like this we have a value so let's say value is something e or something okay now top was 3 okay initially this top is 3 okay now see the statement what is this if condition if really stack is full what you want to do we know how to check stack full correct now see here i am passing ps recall stack full function in stack full method what we did is we wrote with you know for that e stack full we need pointer to the structure yes we are passing pointer to the structure then that function will take this ps that means the address of this structure because what is ps ps is a pointer to the structure if you pass ps to something else then that something else is also going to have this box address okay then definitely that e stack full method will work right so we have to pass ps now if e stack full of ps if i pass really stack is full then what happens e stack full method returns one correct okay then if condition will become true then what i do is i maintain a variable called overflow let me introduce overflow variable i will tell you the purpose of overflow variable overflow variable is for communication that means so this overflow is initially zero somehow i, I maintain it i initialize the variable overflow to zero okay and whenever this stack is full i make overflow one so that after returning from this push method i will realize by checking this overflow then i can check whether really my stack is full or not correct so what i do is if really this overflow is one then i will take appropriate action understand my point so that's why so that is better like you know so using overflow variable then i can check whether my stack full or not this is one more way so that what's the advantage see if stack is full then i will make overflow one and i indicate that i indicate to the program that something uh, something else has happened otherwise you know some unexpected thing has happened then i make overflow one and i will simply return 
Now, once you written, then that remaining code should take care of this overflow. They should examine overflow and they should decide. Example, your stack is full. What do you do? Maybe you quit the program, then you quit it. So you write a code such a way that that program should quit. Otherwise, if your stack is full, so some people what they do is they will go to the you know why stack is full generally this array is full if this array is full then we can create a new array and we can start new stack from there isn't it so example this size is 100 if all these 100 locations are full what i do is one alternative what we can do is create a big array of size 200 in the remaining program so we create array of size 200 and again a top variable and I copy all these values to here a b c d e and again I continue the remaining stack in that way so this is called you know <coughs> exception handling otherwise error handling correct so in C programming we can do this kind of exception handling else if really stack is not full then happy correct so logic is very simple what is what are we going to do we are going to do ps cap data of plus plus ps cap top that is what i did right so very simple so finally the idea about push is take the ps pointer and pass it to e stack full if really e stack full says yes stack is full then make overflow bit one and simply return so that the remaining part of the program will absorb overflow and based on that overflow it will take some choice or decision so that is inappropriate for us but i explained you what are the other decisions we can take what are they simply quit the program if your stack is full otherwise take new memory and copy that old memory and start fresh and create a new stack understand my point so that all these things we can do after returning from push if the stack is not full then we come to else part in this else part simply go to ps cap data and write the data so we know this code you know i don't want to explain it again right so this is about push